hello guys welcome to this exciting tutorial we are going to look at the beginners level in coral draw this is a vector based application and uh, you can accomplish a lot of things based on 2d graphics and uh, vector graphics so once you launch this application corel x7 um there are a couple of things that you're gonna see the welcome screen then the title the menu bar and some couple of other color palettes and other panels or dockers whatever you might call them uh, over here we have the new document where you can actually start a new project and uh, here you can give the project a title let's just say we want to call this um, coral 101 then um, the preset destination you can choose um, whether to use a default CMYK for print purposes in terms of color separation then you can also use your default ROGB which stands for red green and blue uh, we're gonna use the custom and um, we can choose um, a paper size of our choice a4 letter a5 a and so on and so forth so uh, let's just stick with a4 then you can choose any of these measuring units I think I'm more familiar with inches you might be more familiar with um, pie cars or probably pixels for screen based measurement now let's choose inches and um, we are having 8.2 cc by um, 11.693 and that is the standard a4 paper size then the number of pages which means at the end of the day how many number of pages are you gonna have of the application that you are working with uh we have this set to one you can also increase it but the good thing is that these settings can still be changed at the end of the day by the time you say okay now the color mode we are using sienna magenta yellow and constant black for color separation purposes then you can also switch to rgb if you want then the rendering resolution in case we are bringing in um images is set to 300 dot per inch that is what dpi means then uh, the preview mode is how do you want to see your graphics preview inside of coral is set to enhance um but for people who doesn't have such a fast system you can leave it at normal mine is okay so i can work with enhance so let's click ok then we are welcome to this um uh, window interface of the application by the way, I'm using my middle mouse button to scroll in and out like this. Then I'm clicking on it, dragging to pan around as you can see. Okay. Now we have this very place here, which is this place. This is called our working area or probably a printable area. So any of the information you have inside of this place will be printed out but outside this place will not so this is where you do your work and arrange them in the page now over to this place we have all the tools which we'll be talking about in other videos then we have um, our color palette here where we choose any color of our choice then here we have what we call the property bar over here then also we have the standard bar and up here we have the menu bar okay now we have the status bar which is giving us this coordinate value wherever we move our mouse then we also have the vertical ruler guide and also we have the horizontal ruler guide which is measured in inches as you can see um you can also change that by coming over to this place and choosing millimeters or pikers and as i'm changing this here it's also changing on this very place okay so let's just stick back to inches all right now uh just for testing purposes if we pick a rectangle tool click and drag like this we can actually choose any color of our choice by right clicking on those colors so you can see it's actually filling those with colors mm -hmm. now uh, another thing you might want to tech to heart is the fact that when i right click on this color it fills it so this is actually called a fill color but when you sorry when you right click on this color it, when you left click on this color it fills it but when you right click on a color it fills the outline instead so 
uh, you are right clicking for outline then you are left clicking to fill so you might want to take note of that now there are some few things that you would like to get used to if you want to work with coral application which is shortcut uh, for instance if i press the f4 button that is the function key on your keyboard f4 is going to frame whatever is selected to page or the entire work you have to the window page like this um, also if i press the f3 it's going to uh, zoom it back um, away from the normal page so for instance if you lose the work and uh, right now i can see that little shape if i press f4 it's just going to jump right back into the screen so you might want to take note of that and um, if probably we let's say we pick a circle and we want to draw this circle from the center of this place we can't really do that if not we end up moving this but what we can do is to drop the shape and click off by not selecting anything so by the time we pick a circle and position the circle at the center you can see this smart um guide is telling us that we are actually at the center of this shape so if i click and drag i'm drawing from the center of this shape but like i said shortcut is very important in coral draw if you hold on your if you hold on your shift key on the keyboard you are actually drawing this shape from the center outward then um, you can draw it if you hold on the shift key plus the control key you draw it from the center outward and also you maintain the height and weight so that's an advantage so i can draw a shape until snap to this point so if i want to i'm gonna fill this with thread you can see that now now as i'm filling this with red i might want to give it a yellow outline so um let's say we want to draw another one so i'll pick that same shape and hover the mouse over to this center holding down the shift key and the control key and dragging up to this point then i can uh, another thing for you to take in mind if you are working with Coral Draw the first time is for you to always drop the tool. Uh, what I mean by that is to always click on this first tool called the Pick tool whenever you are through using any of these two. The advantage of that is if you don't and uh, for practical reasons you might want to move this object. If I try to do so I end up drawing another one. So it's very important you drop your tool in order to continue the next work okay let's go ahead and fill this with yellow and give it a red outline now we want to draw another one let's pick the same circle over the mouse at the center then draw this then we want to give this a red outline no fill then also we want to click on this tool and drop the tool then we want to type inside of this place so let's pick before we type let's draw another one holding down the shift key and the control key you can see we can really have this shape so we want to fill this with red color so now that we have this shape complete to the way we want it we can now type into it so i can pick this test tool and click once we have two type of test in graphic generally we have what we call the artistic test which is the one we are about to create then we have the paragraph test which will allow you to create test into paragraph for um, page layout purposes so let's quickly click once to type our artistic test so i'm gonna type coral draw 101 now uh, by the time you are done typing this you also want to drop your tool then um, i really want this test to be in caps that is all caps so to do that i'm going to come over to this place and um, go to my test i will see the change case then i can make it uppercase and click ok so now that is uppercase i can really bring it inside of this place so in order to change the font and align these at the center i can come over to this 
property bar click and move to the center okay then I can give this a white color just by clicking on it then I can choose a font I'm gonna go with this uh, goma black which is really big okay then I want to make sure the test is right there so you can see it's pretty easy to create some simple object for a start inside of Corel Draw. If you want to change this font, just click on it, come over to this place. Maybe you want to choose more something more elegant and um, increase the size if you want. So 36 is okay. You can see. Uh, for practical reasons, you can underline the text just by clicking on this U button if you want to underline it okay so for your first day um, getting around with coral draw is simple as easy as it is so now what I've done here is not actually on the printable area which means if I go to file and click on print I will be printing an empty page but let's see if I'm saying the right thing by hitting on the preview button so you can see the preview is showing nothing so if I come over and close the preview button and move this object, by the way, I have to highlight to select everything before I can move it inside like this. So if I go over to that same preview, you can see I'm seeing this object. So whatever is inside this page is going to come out of a printing machine. But if it's outside, it's not going to come out of a printing machine. So let's press F4 to zoom back in. Now, um, the excitement in this is that once you create this, you might want to um, show it to your friends that you've actually done something by exporting this out in JPEG format or portable network graphics. And to do that is pretty easy. Just make sure you select everything, come over to file. Then we have the export command. Just click on it and choose any, let's say we want this to be on our desktop. Then we want to call it Corel 101 JPEG as our format. Uh, because we selected the object we want to export, we have to check the selected only. Then we click export. So by the time we do that, we are going to see the export dialog box which is asking us do we want this to be in CMYK or RGB so we might want to change our color mode in order to see this properly and um, if I switch this back to CMYK you can see the colors are rich I'm having rich red but uh, just to show you something by the time I click OK to export this and I come over to my finder here and go to desktop then I'll look for that coral so this is it by the time I double click to open it, the colors are rich. Now, if I head back to Coral Draw and export this back, export this as well, maybe I'll call this Coral 101 um, underscore RGB just to show you the difference. And I'll say export and choose RGB instead. The colors are a little bit washed out. So if I click OK and come over to my desktop, I have the one of RGB you can see the red are not actually rich in red compared to that of CMYK because this is definitely um, the color separated mode that is available for CMYK now we have the RGB here so just for you to um, take something in mind is uh, whenever you are working with CMYK you have to have it in mind that you are going to be doing um, a lot of printing work before you choose CMYK and if you are working with ROGB um, it's probably uh, most things that will be shown on the screen and um, things that will be shown on other devices but not necessarily to be printed out although it can be printed out in um, direct image printout format or other format or by conversion format and there are so many ways to do that but if you want to work just know what you want to do with the application first whether you want to print it out or you just want to design and show it to your friends whatever you want to do uh, by the time you make that decision initially well you can always correct that if you don't 
want it so there is always um, a possibility to change the format you want whether cmyk or rgb so i believe you've learned something today in your first day in coral draw which is this coral 101 we were able to do something like this uh there will be more tutorials on coral draw especially for beginners uh, just uh, make sure you subscribe to this um channel so that you will get um updates of other tutorials that we have in this channel don't forget to subscribe by hitting on the red button or the subscription button i'll see you soon guys bye